YouTube. Welcome to one of my videos. This is my Malon Height Malon Height radio. And uh, last repair I did was I put a new rotary encoder in it. This time I'm going to try and come up with a better way. Because what the problem is with it. You switch it off and it still discharges the battery. You know, it's like a standby switch. This one, push button switch. It's not in the battery line. It just pulses one of the chips or something. So, I'm going to try and fit a, a switch in the main feed to the battery so I can switch the power off completely. It means it won't retain its memory, it will always come back to the default setting when I put it on. Because I think the trickling power retains the memory but it also does other things. But the problem is, this is the end cover and is the antenna one and the big hole there. And that's where that switch went in. And the idea is, I want to see if I can fit one of these little switches with some washers into these holes that's the plan and then solder some wires on and run it to the battery so I can just switch the switch off it'll disconnect the battery totally but when I need to charge it and that's the point it's gonna have to be switched on isn't it hmm yes I forgot about that <laughs> uh, I don't think there's room to have both switches in that end cover. Hmm. Don't know. I'll investigate. Well, it is possible to get a little toggle switch into the case of a melon hide. I've just managed to do it and retain the original switch. So I've just got to put it back together and I'll be able to switch it on and test it. Well, the test is going to be uh, related to it charging and holding its charge when it's switched off. Right, just going to switch it on. Right, it's coming on now. This is a charge indicator here. So it's all working. Switch it off. Let it fully charge. And um, I've got two, maybe three spare batteries, new ones for these radios. So if its battery is faulty, it's been damaged because of the way it's been treated, I can always fit a new battery as well. Okay, it's now fully charged. And what I'm going to do now, see there's the charge indicator, I'm going to unplug the charger and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to disconnect the battery here and then we'll come back in a few days time to see if the power levels dropped because this will prove whether it's a radio discharging the battery or the battery itself self discharging. I hope that makes sense. So, catch you in a few days. Second day of the battery test. Battery indicator hasn't moved. So that's looking good. Right, it's another day. Excuse the camera going out of focus. Let's switch on. Yep, top right hand side, a full battery indicator. So that's obviously working. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe 
and like.